Welcome back. In Latin America, national growth rates appear to be falling into a geographical divide. I'll explain. On the eastern side of the continent, economies of Brazil and Argentina are slowing down. But to the west, facing the Pacific, Chile, Peru, and Colombia continue to grow. Dan Collins looks at why. The eyes of the world are on Brazil, World Cup host and Latin America's largest economy. But according to the International Monetary Fund, growth in this South American titan won't top 2% this year on current forecasts. Meanwhile, Mexico, Colombia, Peru and Chile are all set to expand between 3 and 5.5% in 2014. This gang of four makes up the Pacific Alliance, one of the newest and least known economic collectives, accounting for one third of Latin America's gross domestic product. If trade opportunities in Latin America are divided along its oceans, then this side, the Pacific, is the right side to be on. Growth forecasts for countries facing Asia far outstrip their Atlantic facing neighbors. But we're starting to show that they want in on the action too. Mercosur, the trade bloc made up of Venezuela, Brazil and Argentina, will expand at an average rate of six tenths of a percent this year, according to IMF forecasts, while the Pacific Alliance is predicted to grow by more than 4%. Earlier this month, medios. Chilean President Michel Bachelet proposed talks between the two trade blocs with a view to a possible tie-up. We want to continue advancing our relations with the Asia-Pacific as well as our relations with Mercosur and there will be a meeting in July in Cartagena of Pacific Alliance ministers in Mercosur. Some economists argue the growth disparity between the two blocs is not so much about access to hot Asian markets as it is prudent economic policies. Two organizations are, are, are impossible to mix, let's say. You know? uh, one is based on keeping away trade with anybody but the members, and in fact, not even having trade among the members. And the other is an organization based on the fact that all the members already have free trade agreement with most of the world and want to have even more of it and take even more advantage of what these opportunities represent. In other words, overspending and protectionism have made Mercosur's economies sluggish, while what makes the Pacific economies tick is free trade. The Pacific Alliance, created less than three years ago, is already the world's seventh largest recipient of foreign direct investment. And with talk of integrating financial markets and cross-border education programs, the Alliance looks set to further strengthen its collective economy. Dan Collins, CTTV, Lima.